Let's now bring in, uh, uh, of course, the public affairs analyst, George McCurry, to talk more about this uh, uh, issue on ground. Thank you very much indeed for coming. Thank you very much, sir. Well, um, in, in an attempt to uh, solve the problem on ground, uh, the military, of course, sometime last week or thereabout, came out to say that they arrested some of those who are orchestrating the crisis in there supplying arms to uh, the, the herders. Are you satisfied, as one who has been watching affairs, are you satisfied with people just being arrested without being properly brought to justice? Uh, first of all, uh, I want to make an observation because I, I noticed that you are still referring to this as farmers' herders' crisis. Hmm. And, uh, so if it's not we, what it is, we, we what have is it? To, we have to call it for what it is. This is genocide. This is mass killings. You know, when you call something a crisis, it means mm. both sides are carrying arms and fighting themselves. But in this context, it has always been one people coming up with arms and killing the other people, mm. mostly women and children. You, you honestly don't call that a crisis, like a clash. I mean, it's not a clash. It's, it's orchestrated killings of armless and defenseless people. That's to begin with. And to the heart of your question, which is talking about the arrest of people, I want to, first and foremost, who are, who are those people that are arrested? They arrested about 14 persons or 17 persons there about in the plateau after the crisis, after, I mean, uh, uh, 200 persons were killed. Mm. Of those 14 persons, three, uh, we are we are arrested isolatedly as uh, you know for the 300 200 persons that were killed and other three two are Fulanis and one is a Biron guy and then we have the four, 14 that were arrested uh, for blocking the roads after the the Fulani headers may have left now what I'm trying to say here is most of the people who were arrested are Biron people like the plateau citizens and that's the same thing that was replicated in the Benue. Do you have, do you have the facts to show this? The, the, the information are there. It's there for everybody to see. They are not hiding these things. When you, when you look at some of the publication of Murik, for instance, mm. the Muslim right group, uh, there, is, there is a publication where they said that the people that are being arrested in the Benue are, are, are Benue citizens, you know, paid by politicians to kill their own people. I, I mean, the narratives keep changing. You have a situation where the, 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 some people will come protesting that uh, the, the statement of uh, T.Y. Denjuma and uh, what's his name, Jonah Jang, they should be arrested because their inflammatory statement brought about these killings. And for, for people like us that are observing, we, we just see the charade. We see this thing, it's just, the government is not sincere about really tackling this problem. They're All just right. playing monkey business with this whole thing. All right, does it make any meaning to you when uh, the, the, I mean, those within government circle, even the president said it, that the crisis in there is orchestrated or, or uh, prompted by politicians? Uh, does it make any meaning to you? That's, that's laughable. Mm. Because even kids in the kindergarten, if they can put two and two together to get four, they will understand that is, that is, that is nonsense. And the sense of nonsense you don't honestly, and that's why I like the response that Dino Milaya, the senator from the Kogi, uh, is it, he said, uh, if it's the politicians that are responsible for the headers killings, why is it that the solution to the problem is ranching? How comes the government is able to know the solution if they don't know the problem? Hmm. You can't not know the solution of a problem you don't know. No, but, the gov but that's why the government is there. The government will not watch and then allow things to, uh, you know, go beyond board. There must be a solution. So, so when, know, to sorry, so, sorry to cut you. Mm. When the government is talking about ranching, what, what is actually the problem then? Because they have, they have actually been misinforming the public. They've been misinforming the world. There's a crisis between farmers and herders. And there's nothing like that. And that is why they are creating their own solution out of figment of their own imagination of what the problem is. What they give to the world anyway, because they know what the real problem is. So, well, uh, what exactly do you think will be 
the solution because we have theorized, mm. we have intellectualized so much about the killings. Nobody likes killings. Nobody likes that at all. What is the solution, the way forward? The solution, the, the solution is for us to practice true democracy, mm. true federalism. The solution is for us to be sincere about democracy in Nigeria. The solution is for us to understand that we have reached a, a time, I mean, in, in the growth of this world, a modern time, where we don't, we don't pra practice feudalism, where you have a certain class of people thinking that they have to lord it over other people. That is the solution, until and unless a particular section of this country consider every other person in this country as her equal in the project of this country, we'll just keep dancing in circles. George McCurry, Public Affairs Analyst, we thank you very much indeed for coming to share your thoughts with us. Thank you very much, sir.